Hello, my name is Jacob Strand. I'm a consultant at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, a section of palliative medicine. Today we're going to be talking about our fourth installment in the palliative care series in patients with circulatory failure, entitled Starting the Palliative Care Conversation. As we move forward, we're going to be building on some of the discussions we had in previous sections, specifically how to engage in some of these complex conversations for patients with circulatory failure facing uncertain or difficult prognoses and end-of-life concerns. First, to take a step back, why are we doing this? We know that patients with heart failure face significant end-of-life concerns. Patients with heart failure are hospitalized a large number of times throughout the course of their significant disease. We know that in our Medicare population, patients with heart failure will often be hospitalized in the last six months of life. We also know that the symptom burden in heart failure places a significant strain on the quality of life for patients with heart failure, akin to some patients with metastatic cancer.